What's good, Wisconsin fam? It's your boy, Jonathan Crawford, currently residing in Sparta, Wisconsin. Huge fan of that Go Get em Paranormal team. You know what it is, their hard work, their dedication, it cannot go unnoticed. With that being said, you know what time it is. Let's go get them. Walk in the room with the evil control. Ha! Go get them. Live for the night, we about that life. Ha! Go get them. We ain't equal to chase the evil. Ha! Go get him, I said, we ain't equal, I chase the evil, ah, go get him. To the north woods, all cities in Wisconsin Pull up the spirit box, getting responses Hunting for ghosts, that's what we came to do Always equipped with the K2 Always prepared for unseen danger Using the third eye, that's a game changer Why would we be scared of the living? When we hunt and talk, we ghost for a living Go get them, always down for you We investigate, so you don't have to Wisco fam, the exclusive click Always down when we gonna get tricked quick Wisco fam, put your hands in the air We ain't never, ever, ever scared Say we ain't ever, ever, ever scared Yeah! Walk in the room and the evil consumes. Ah, go get em. Live for the night, we about that life. Ah, go get em. We in equal, I chase the evil. Ah, go get em. Ah, go get em. If you could give me some directions, I mean, I just want some directions. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get some directions? I just kind of got lost, and I was just wondering if you knew where I was supposed to be going. Where are you going? Fine then. What is up, Wisco fam? Welcome back to another haunted adventure. My name is Sugar. Bonjour. And we are here today in Milwaukee at the Seven Bridges Trail, uh, also known as Grant Park. Now, there's some creepy things that kind of go around here. There's said to be an apparition of a lady in white who supposedly lost her children on Lake Michigan. Um, there's also orbs that have been spotted, a four-legged creature that resembles a praying mantis. And there are also rumors of quite a number of suicides that have taken place here. So we are going to investigate see if we come up with anything uh, we do have an actual new piece of equipment this is our new k2 meter I'll zoom up in this a little bit new k2 meter, and it actually does make noise and everything is pretty slick it's pretty futuristic looking so we will have that with us park was actually built during the depression so it's been here quite a long time so we hope you enjoy this video if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and if you're returning thank you thank you for supporting us. We really appreciate you guys. Let's go get them. All right, Wisco fam, we are going in here totally blind. Apparently, if you get lost, you will always come back to the entrance. I don't know how true that is because there's a lot of entrances. So, <laughs> I guess we'll be going back to MapQuest. Oh, look, here's the entrance, the one we were looking for. <laughs> it's right there. So, upon entering this, it does have a saying here, Enter this wild wood and view the haunts of nature. Now we did see some people walk in here. Quite a number of cars drove here too. I thought that with the park closing at 10 that maybe we'd be a little alone here, so we may not be. They say, you guys, that you can hear screams and cries here. I've just got the cake too. Oh, when you leave, what does it say? It says something else. May the God given peace of this leafy solitude rest upon and abide with thee. It's kind of creepy to me. A little bit. Well, which way should we go first? There's mm -hmm. three trials. <laughs> Which one should we do? A, B, or C? Well, I definitely don't want to do B, because that's just straightforward. I feel like... I think we should go A. A. Let's go, fam. I hope you picked A, because that's the way we're going. It's definitely creepy. This 
we don't have to worry about wolves. Did you hear footsteps behind us? Yes. So did I. It's not my bag. I swear to God, it sounded like boots. That's not my water. That's not what I heard, though. What? I hear footsteps up there now. I don't see anybody. Like, I know. We saw a couple come in here. And there were some cars that drove by, but they drove way down. They were definitely here in the steps, but I don't see anybody. See, that's my water. I can hear that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm hearing, though. So you guys can hear my water. So, so if you hear water, that's my water. Wow. I'm telling you, it's definitely nicer doing trails when it's fall and winter than in the summer because there's no bugs. So a lot better, a lot nicer. I don't want to say hello <laughs> because if, if there are kids in here, you know what I mean. I mean, even though we stick out like a sore thumb to this bright ass light. Are there any spirits here with us? We came to communicate with you. We have a device that my dad is holding that you can touch. Let us know that you're here. Or you can talk into this device I have. Or you can just say hi or make a noise. I thought I heard a person. Remember guys, we do all this investigating so you don't have to. It's cold tonight. I mean, it's going to get worse, but we take our Fridays and our Saturday nights and do this for you guys. So, obviously, we love doing it, but we do it for you guys, too, so you don't have to. So, please, man, hit that subscribe button. Share it, you know what I mean? And and hit the like buttons. We don't know if you like something if, if you don't tell us, so. It is creepy. Do you keep hearing that noise? No. I thought it was a motorcycle at first. But it like dries in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Like it, I don't know. So it said the suicides people have jumped off the bridge into the ravine and also hung themselves here. So it's very, very sad. I wonder if people spend the night here. They like camp out. Like the people that came in here had a backpack and everything. I wonder if they just pitch a tent and camp in here for the hell of it, even though I'm sure you're not supposed to. So I believe we're going down by the beach right now. I wouldn't want to walk down this in the winter. Sheesh. Slippery. Oh, this must be one of the bridges. Yep. 
I thought we were coming down to the actual lake. And the lake's got to be right there, though. It's pretty loud. The water's definitely right there. Hmm. Oh, almost fell. Must be another trail or something. I don't know. What other trail are there? Well, that would be going back the way that we just came. Yeah. I feel. So this has got it. It's got to be the one that leads to the beach because it's loud. Yeah. There's water. Sitting on the beach to the left of us. There's the water, guys. Anybody want to go for a swim? <laughs> Jeremy, you okay. I think there's people to the left of us. Did you see him? Mm -hmm. I think so. I hope there were people. That's what it looked like. Okay, there's some more graffiti on the bridge. Oh, it's a lot of fucking stairs. <sighs> Whose idea was it to go with the water? Man, no, I'm wondering if these people saw this apparition like at night or during the day because I could see how that would appear to be an apparition. I'm never gonna make it out of here alive. This would be a good haunted attraction. I gotta say. Some water down there again. I wonder if they would have jumped off this bridge. This isn't really a bridge though. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but to me, that entrance was creepier than anything so far. Right. It was almost like that's where I. That's where we were here and stuff. That's where I felt activity, but there's trails everywhere. That one looks creepy. Yeah, it we should go that one. When in doubt, take the creepy trail. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't. This one looks creepy. Ooh. Sure would like to see this four legged creature. I keep feeling like I'm seeing shit. I think my eyes are playing tricks on me, I think. Why you look the same way? I just see things moving. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw over here. I thought I saw that over there, like something stuck behind the tree. Hear anything? So this trail is giving out some really weird juju. It's like mysterious juju. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, like I don't feel like we're being watched. I just feel like there's shit here. Maybe you feel like you're being launched. I don't know. But I just feel like we're like we're just not alone though. Michael. Oh, 
There's the rocks. There's the three rocks. Are you? Mm -hmm. You're getting bad juju. I feel paranoid all of a sudden. Like really paranoid. I don't get paranoid. I got my weapon, guys. I don't know. I feel like we should do the spirit box. This area just feels funny to me. The spirit box? Right here? Yeah. Or should we do it on the bridge? Hmm? Or should we do it on the bridge? I mean, this is a good place to set it. Excuse me, excuse me for the sniffles. Allergy season and it's getting cold, so. Are there any spirits here with us right now? What is your name? Yeah, we might not be able to see when it lights up, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I heard that there are some people that committed suicide here, is that true? If you're here, can you touch this device? Let us know. Yeah. If you touch it, it'll light up. My name is Sugar and this is my dad. We are with a paranormal team. So we are just coming to find out the truth about the seven bridges. If you hear us, can you can you say our names? Okay, some somebody's here. Can you can you keep touching that? <laughs> My name is, is Sugar. Can you say Sugar? Can you say Dad? To right now, who's who's touching this K2 device? What what is your name? Uh, 
Can you touch that device if you're a uh, male? Can you touch that device if you're a female? Okay, can you touch it again if you're a male? I just want to make sure. I just don't know who I'm talking to. I know it takes a lot of energy to, to use this type of equipment. How many spirits are here right now? Is there more than one spirit here? Can you touch that if there's more than one? Can you touch that if there's only one spirit here? Okay, and I, I might have missed it. What is your name? I know you're a man. I'm just trying to get your name. Is your name Ed? Can you touch that if your name's Ed? Okay. All right. How are you doing, Ed? Ed, can you touch this device and let me know if you passed away here? Set. And you touch that if you committed suicide here. How did you die here then, Ed? RP and DM devoted to you. I guess we'll maybe try to spear somewhere else. Yeah. Ed has left the building, so he didn't want to talk anymore. I guess. Sometimes that's the way it goes, guys. You know, they get they get tired and they use a lot of energy to contact us, and sometimes that's the way it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the new K2 meter. It's pretty cool, actually. I didn't understand why I didn't make any noise, though. It kind of makes like a noise or something. No, that's all I know. Maybe it was, and we just couldn't hear it. Oh, well, it's even maybe. got a mount on it. Yeah, maybe it depends on how strong you are. Maybe. Because I did notice on the video for it, it makes like a. Like a like that, like a yeah. static noise. So maybe it does depend on how much energy they they got.
Sounds like somebody's screaming. What the hell? Like really far away. Mm-hmm. So this is where we come in. Mm-hmm. So now there's straight to the pavilion where we were. So we should go. Right? So we should go that way. You can hear screams in here. Did you hear that? No, it stopped. We're hearing a scream. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know if it sounds like a girl or a guy. You know what it almost sounded like? Oh! But mm -hmm. high pitch. That's a gunshot. Yeah. Well, that's kind of creepy to hear a scream and then a gunshot. Right. Uh -uh. We are in Milwaukee by the lake front, so. Yeah, well, you know. Who knows? <laughs> like that. Hopefully they're okay, whoever it was. I hear it again. Mm -hmm. well, it almost sounds like it moved now. It's like it's over there. Mm -hmm. It was over here, now it's like over there. Wish it was closer so you guys could hear it. I would love to know where in the hell that light went. That's the only place I get a weird vibe. Mm -hmm. It's right there by the entrance. Before we go any further, I'm just going to cut this off and look at Google Maps and see exactly where we are. Feel the, I think we should go back to the opening. I think we should try another spirit box coming toward that side. I think so too. I only feel like there's a presence in that area and that's it. It's the only part where it just, it just changes. Mm -hmm. The whole vibe changes. So far, no apparitions. No four-legged praying mantis. I was really hoping on the praying mantis, actually. Just looking forward to that one. That actually looks like it has a cross on it. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Shine your light on Yeah, that tree. Nope, the big one. Looks like it has a cross on it. Oh, yeah. So we're back to the main bridge, guys. This is just where the vibe changes. Alright guys, we're going to do another spirit box. Alright. Are there any angels? Are there any spirits? Don't say that. Oh, that's weird. So it is making noise. Hmm? It is making noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a... That was not your phone, then. Because your no. phone is like really close to it. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. It's not even that. It's not even that. 
spirit box is not even. Look at it. It's just start shining. It's just start. It's not even on and it's going. And we got K2 action. Spirit trying to communicate with us right now because there's two books. Let's look at the thing more. Nope. It's trying to come through. Turn it on. But don't turn it on, but <coughs> see? It's picking up the frequency. Oh, it's turning on. Yeah, I know. It's been trying to communicate. Is there a spirit here with us right now? Can you, can you touch that device if there is? Touch that if your name's Trent. If there's any spirit here with us at all, can you touch that device? Try this again. If anybody's here, could you please touch that device? We would like to talk to you. We don't mean any harm. I know somebody's here. A lot of you talk. You don't have to be shy. Suicide on this bridge. guys well so much for that seems like it got a little quiet i don't know we met ed i don't know till i go back and, and listen to the spirit box that may not have been exactly what he said maybe he got mad because we didn't get his name right i'm not sure but i wanted to leave the um speaker by you so you guys could hear better so um i haven't seen any spirits reveal themselves but definitely if you come here 
um, this is definitely um, the hot spot, I would say. It's the only part that we felt anything on. Um, and then, you know, when you go up the trail to the left, it's the only spot I felt anything on. Mm. Other than that, the rest of it is just like a typical park. Um, anybody that was in here with us was very quiet. So, that concludes this episode. Seven Bridges Trail, Milwaukee, if you ever want to come here. Grant Park. It's a, it's a nice park. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a cool place. So, it's got a lot of playgrounds and stuff. I mean, so... We will check you later on the next adventure.